Hey guys, what's up? So, I've been getting a lot of requests to do the tutorial on how I did the underwater effect with Tsunami and After Effects. So, I'll be showing you guys how to do that. And just keep in mind, this is actually a very easy effect to do. It just takes forever to render. And if you haven't seen it, um, here it is. Very simple... I mean, not, I wasn't say simple, but it's a very unique effect for creating an underwater scene with light that's actually responsive. You know, the shimmers are responsive to the way the lighting is on the scene. And we have a cool little effect that it makes the text wavy, and it flows good with the way the waves be flowing. So, I'll be showing you guys how to create this. So just stick with me here. Okay, so we're going to just jump right in here. So we're going to create a new composition and we'll just call it Underwater. And it really doesn't matter what size or time. Just I have a small resolution, so I'm going to use a small size. So we're going to use 640 by 480. D1, DV, and TSC. Okay, now we're going to create a layer. A solid doesn't matter what color make it the comp size okay and we are gonna come in here and type in tsunami by digital anarchy <clears throat> it's a very neat, unique plugin and you can do so many things with it well pertaining to water that is and we're gonna come down here in the presets select underwater Caribbean and hit go. Sorry, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. And the first thing we want to do is come in here to render options and set the gamma scale to 0 0.75 just to give it a little bit of a darker tint. Because if you ask me, it's a little bit too light. We're going to skip the image maps because, well, I might show you guys what you can do with that later. But the tilt, we're going to want to change to 85. And this will give us more room to add our text that we're going to put in later. And the sun is too centered. I think we need to put it more towards the, the right. So we're going to go to the pan and put that at 70. 70. Um, maybe 72. I don't know. Little things count, right? And we're done with camera, so just skip the air and ocean optics because they are perfect how they are. And come down here to primary waves, the coarse grid size, put that to 2, and put the fine grid size to 0 0.22. And what this does is, well, as you can see, gives us way more detail on our waves at the top. It looks really good. We're going to come into light 1, change the elevation of the light to 70, and this will basically give the effect that it's later in the day and the sun is more right above our scene instead of like it's rising. And so we're done with the water scene, or basically. We're just going to call this layer water 1. And we're going to duplicate water one, control D, so that we have two waters. And you'll see why we need two here in a minute. And in our second layer, we're going to apply the levels, oh, sorry, levels preset. And just give it time. Uh, we're going to want to change the input black to 140. Um, okay, maybe that's a little bit too much. Maybe 125. Yeah, there. Just so we can get some more, high, the highlights of, of our scene. Where the light, because this is going to be very important here in a minute. Because we're going to come over here and type shine by trap code. Very cool effect. And apply that. And as you can see, this looks like someone just got eaten like there's blood or something that not what we're going after so we're gonna have to change the color 
go into colorize and set this to none. There, now we have our own scenes, light and color, which is definitely what we want. And you can basically mess with this part here all you want, but I already know exactly where it needs to be for my scene, which is 670 by negative 150. And just scoot it over a little bit so you don't have that sharp, or not sharp, but the little edge over here. So there, that looks great, I think. Now, what you can do, well, my bad. Ray length, 4.5, so you get a little bit lighter color. Then come into Shimmer here. Amount, 50. Detail, 30. And basically, this just creates a nice little shimmer effect. And we are done with... Basically, yeah, we're time to just do a little color correction. We'll be done with the water. So, layer, new, solid, and just find a mid blue color. Um, doesn't matter, just well, I mean, it does. So, just find a little mid blue color, and we're gonna set the transfer mode to overlay, and it just got really blue. So we're going to have to change that to about 25 opacity. Um, T is to bring down the opacity. So let's see here. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but it looks a lot better with a little bit of a blue tint, in my opinion. And we are done with creating the water. Okay, so now it's time to make the text, which is extremely easy, I might add. And what's nice is we can do all of this in just one composition, so it doesn't get cluttered at all. So we're just going to create a new text layer, and just type whatever you want. And scale it according to your likes, I don't know, and just place it wherever. Now what we're going to do, it, oh my bad, getting a little ahead of myself, so with, the, with your text layer selected, go into layer, layer styles, bevel and emboss. You're going to want to drop down the uh, bevel and emboss under the text layer and change the depth to 120%. Maybe even more. I don't know. However you want it. 150. Now, we're just going to add the glow effect and stylize, yes, the stylize glow effect to our Oh, I'm sorry. Our text layer is what we're going to want to apply it to. And just leave it exactly how it is and add another glow. So this time, change the radius to 50. So we get kind of a nice little, I don't know, fat glow, I guess. I don't know what the word is. But now we just need to put it between the two water layers and we're done. Just kidding. Ripple. Apply the ripple effect to the text under distort. And you want to change the radius to 40 so that actually affects the text. And just change the ripple phase to whatever you want just to make it a little bit different. I'll just do 20. Doesn't matter. And you're done. Ta -dum. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope I didn't confuse you too much. And sorry for all my stuttering and ums. I'm not a professional. <laughs> Thank you.